out too much about where they would go if there was a possibility of a second season, but I think considering the fact we don't really see Laurel dead and we do see Tyler's eyes open, I feel like things probably aren't entirely wrapped up there. I remember getting the final script and seeing the scene where he's in the car being taken away in chains and then he wakes up and I was like, yes, not dead, let's go. <laughs> so I'm just happy that he's still alive and I hope <laughs> we get to do a second season and explore that. Uh, girl, I don't even believe that one. I can't, I can't. I love Gwendolyn Christie too much. I refuse to accept that as the truth. I thought that might be your reaction. <laughs> no, I can't. She's perfect, she's perfect, she's incredible. I, I don't, I don't want to lose her. I feel like Larissa Weems would never be dominated by something as commonplace as death. I was really devastated when I read that. However, I was energized when I knew that a lifelong desire of Christina Rishi stabbing me in the neck would be realized. <laughs> and on the on the day of shooting, she was standing there with the offending weapon. And I said, never in my life did I think I would be standing here on a film set acting with you about to do this to me. I don't know. I think I always kind of assumed it was, it was Laurel or Tyler, but considering those two are out of question, I would love for it to be someone completely random. There's like this really interesting looking character who's in the background of some of the shots at, at the exterior of Nevermore. He's like the janitor, he's like raking leaves. I would love for it to be him just because he was such a cool guy and I want to talk to him. Could maybe be someone who's a part of the Gates family because you know we've only met Laurel, maybe somebody else survived. That's always a possibility and I feel like they, they like that route but I, I don't know who else it could be. Maybe Enid, maybe Enid is just in love with Wednesday. I think there's always a big bad. And her name is Wednesday Adams. Only Larissa Weems. There is no one else capable of being principal of that school. No one else, except maybe Larissa Weems. <laughs>